Okay, so the, in the next part, we're just going to... Let's make a duplicate of this, and we'll call it Grid Spawner. So we're going to do some of the same stuff, but obviously the the location code is going to change, but we're going to do it all on... Um, So what we want to do now, instead of doing it on radius and angle, so we can get rid of those, let's delete that for the grid, delete the current angle. Now we don't want a spawn count. What we actually want is kind of um, an X and a Y count, if you know what I mean. So we can say how many rows and how many columns of characters we're gonna spawn. So uh, I suggest that what we do is we rename that to, let's say, X count. And then we duplicate that and we call that Y count. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say Y count. times x count and that's the number of things uh, but we want to just subtract one because because we actually want to spawn that number of objects x count times y count minus one as the last index and this time we're going to spawn the first index at zero so what else do we need to do well we still need to get the capsule and get its world location so get world location we're still going to need to make the transform bit and we're going to plus plus and we're going to location so the make transform spawn still got the character class that we spawn so that's good um now here's the thing we probably want on the grid spawner to send them all to a particular position so let's add that variable now uh vector actually no let's make that an actor reference so object actor reference the reason i'm making it an actor reference is it's just easier to sort of set as a target object so uh, target location so let's call it target actor public so what we're going to do is we're going to set another actor as the location of the thing to go there can be any actor essentially um so what we need to do is we need to calculate the from the index we want to calculate like the sort of current x and y values of the thing we're going to do and then we need to add those x and y values onto this world location so that's the center of the grid or rather the start of the grid we want to calculate some x and y values as the sort of position to do so let's do a make vector and feed that into there. And what else do we need to do? Well, we need to take the current index and divide by its X count. So uh, divide, where's the key? 
and we're going X count for that. Now, one thing we want to do is we want to be able to space these things apart. So let's do a float. We call that spacing. Public, so we can edit it in the designer. We need to multiply and let's just do times it times float. That should give us a float, which is the X. And then we're doing um, roughly the same thing, but in this one, so for the Y, what we want to do is we want to take the modular, which uh, the modular symbol is the the percent kind of symbol. And the percent modular that we want is for the X count. So basically the Y for each index, it's going to go from naught to like if Y count and X count are both 10, it'll go from naught to a hundred. We're going to modular the index. So it'd be naught, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, etc. Modular that by the X count to give us just the Y value. And then we're going to essentially do exactly the same thing we did with the X. So we're going to do multiply by flirt. Multiply by the same spacing and feed that into our Y value. So that's making a grid of values for the transform. Now, the final thing we need to do is we need to um, set the target location again, right? Well, our target location is just. Get actor location on our target. So for now we can feed that straight in. We'll probably do something a little bit more later to make it a bit more interesting. But in theory, we should now be able to let's just get rid of the uh sickle spawner. And let's create a grid spawner. And the grid spawner X count is 10, Y count is 10, so we're going to spawn 100 characters of type nav character. Spacing is going to be, let's call it 100 and see what happens. Actually, let's turn that down for the four or something. Four. So in theory, we should get a four by four grid of characters. Two. Hooray. Basically, not too bad either. Ooh, there's... Oh, of course, we haven't set the target location. Have we? Yeah. So, if we want to set a target location, all we need to do for our character now um, is we choose the target actor. In this case, we're going to choose the target point. So our group of actors, let's just move that guy over there a bit. We can spawn a group of actors and make them go towards a target point. Yeah, so we've got our RVO capable actors now moving as a group into target point, which is all right, but then they kind of shuffle around. So what we might want to do on our grid spawner, just to make that a little bit easier, is that we might want to pick um, a random point somewhere around that target actor. So let's just clear that up a little bit now by going, okay, so we go take that target actor location. We're going to add a random vector onto it, and then we're going to use that as the target point. 
and we probably need another variable here we'll call this target radius so this is how far away from that target point we want to be able to sort of randomly move to and we want to do a random float in range so our min is zero our max is target radius and let's just if we right click on this we can split the struct pins for this thing and we're going to drag one of these in there let's just duplicate that and we're going to shove one of these in there so what it means is get the location of the target we're going to and generate a couple of uh, points somewhere around it essentially and the x and y is just the sort of in that plane of movement so it should give us a better chance if we've got a target radius of like having actors get to the point where they want to be and stopping so um target radius let's actually set the grid spot target radius something useful like uh, 200 ish um so we'll want to do So when they go they're kind of not going to exactly the same point they're going to sort of points around it it hopefully means that you know as we increase that target rate it should be 200 a little bit smaller. Uh, so try 400 It just means you get a little bit less fighting when you get there. A little bit less. And obviously we could create a new grid of target points if we wanted to, but for now let's let's live with that. A little bit less fighting. Well with that, we can actually recreate almost all of the things that we want, right? So all we need to do is we need to so we can duplicate that we can select our target point and duplicate that oops select our target point and duplicate that and set it somewhere else we can set our second spawner to go to target point two and we can set them off and see what happens when they collide now there's the one downside to this is that we want to be able to identify who's going where let's do that in the next video let's allow us to set up some of this stuff a little bit more sensibly